and stop stigma. It was based, oops, my apologies. It was basically a physician wellness project that was inspired in part by the physician suicide that happened in 2022 within our own health authority. It was also motivated by the brave stories, by the stories of brave physicians who vulnerably shared what their struggles had been with mental illness and burnout. Um, as a result, we decided we had to do something. The thing though, was that we have all these great wellness programs that exist, but physicians often don't know how to access them or don't even know what they are. So our aim was to increase awareness of wellness resources by 50% uh, by June 2024 at the Bur at Burnaby Hospital, which is our home site. We had three big ideas, essentially. The first one was a luncheon where we spoke about the wellness resources over a provided lunch. Surprise, surprise, doctors love free food. <laughs> so it was quite well received. The second one was an MSA presentation, which again was quite well received as well. The third was a campaign that essentially wanted to spread the message that it's okay to not be okay, that physicians are human too. And so we designed a series of posters on physician depression, anxiety, substance use, suicide, as well as burnout. And we listed facts from the Canadian Medical Association National Physician Health Survey. Because you'll find that actually not even a lot of physicians know just how prevalent mental illness is within the physician population. So these posters, which was something that our team designed together along with uh, Faye, a co-op student, was, uh, as well as Ling Sajia, who was our consultant psychiatrist, was also another one of our change ideas. So as you can see, the first one here is about suicide, the second one's about depression, third one is about our peer supporter program at Burnaby Hospital, fourth one is, again, about the peer supporter program, then it's about burnout, anxiety, and then finally, substance use disorder. So um, in, in, in looking at uh, the results, basically we wanted to measure awareness and, how, and whether uh, physicians were actually knowledgeable of how to use and access these resources. Um, so our OCA measure we looked at was, um, was a little bit, you know, it took some time to figure out how we're gonna measure this, but basically um, we had designed a survey with multiple questions looking at the various resources that are out there, whether you're aware or, or knowledge, knowledgeable about these things. and. Um, you know, what we found was that uh, a lot of physicians uh, were not aware of these existing wellness resources. Um, we hope to increase that with our change ideas as well as actually sort of amalgamating all the resources on our Burnaby Hospital MSA website. Uh, so it could be sort of a one-stop shop and, and drawing attention to that. And, uh, you know, we've noted lots of challenges along the way, you know, in terms of measuring our progress. You know, we had new staff members coming on, um, lots of turnover, and there are a lot of challenges to measure this, but ultimately, um, looked at our, our survey scores, so this is a, one example of one of the questions, because I am aware of Burnaby MSA wellness resources. Um, we first looked at the average score, and you can see it's a little hard to see on the chart here, but there are some change ideas, which are educational sessions around December, um, and we didn't really see much of a change, um, and then we had our posters a little further along. We, we don't have a whole lot of data beyond that yet to see if that's been effective. This is the average score that we're looking at. So basically surveying on these dates, five physicians randomly, seeing what their score was on a Likert scale, you know, one being strongly disagree that I'm aware of these resources to five strongly agree. And, uh, you know, learning in, as part of this uh, process and, and this uh, course really helped us examine how we can better look at the data to look at and see what we want to see, well, not manipulate the data to see what we want to see, but basically a better way to look at it uh, that's more representative. And so this is actually, um, looking at those who scored four or five, so agreement that uh, they're aware or knowledgeable of all the access wellness resources. Um, and when we looked at this, uh, we could actually see a good trend uh, towards um, uh, increasing awareness and knowledge. And if it wasn't for that one little blip there, we'd actually have a shift. <laughs> so we're, and then you can see that actually this begins right after the educational sessions. And, and what we really learned was that in a smaller site, well, not, not necessarily super small, but Burnaby Hospital, you know, community center, um, we have a lot of engagement with staff and um, a lot of us know each other personally. We talk in the halls. Um, so we found that face-to-face -face interactions were really, really effective in this regard. Um. Thank you. <laughs>